now let us talk about biconditionals so consider the proposition p and q so the biconditional statement is represented like this right so p and this time the arrow is from both sides right so this p and then this symbol and and then here q so how do we read this we read it like this p and then we write here i double f if and then here q so how to read it so this i double f means p if and only if q so whenever you have such kind of symbol between the proposition p and q this is read as p if and only if q so this is this statement is true only in these two cases that is when p and q both are true in that case it is true and when p and q both are false in that case it is true otherwise it is always false so biconditional statements are also called as by implications please keep that in mind so this this particular compound proposition is true only for these two cases right that is when p and q both are true or p and q both are false for rest of this it is false so this is the truth table and this is the description of your biconditional operator so just like your implication operator we have this by implication okay now it has a direct relation with implication as well so let's see that so if you observe here this is this this statement if you observe here this proposition this is the same thing that we write in this way that is p by implication q so writing p by implication q or writing this with single implication right will result in the same truth table so if you observe here here for p true q true the result is true and here for p false q false the result is true you can check that so since the truth table of this p by implication q is equivalent of this this particular statement that is if p then q and this is called your and right if q then p so that means this statement let us say if this is your statement 1 and this is your statement 2 there are two proportional statement these two are equivalent or exactly same why because their truth table yields the same result right that is true false true sorry true false false true and here also same thing for the combination of this p and q now what are the other other phrases that can be used for reading this we can say that p is necessary and sufficient for q so whenever you have such kind of statement p by implication q or p if and only if q that can be written exactly like this there is other way for writing this if p then q and conversely that means if p then q right we have already written this statement here and after that we have this and the logical and and then converse so converse of if p then q is what if q then p this is the converse that means if these two right these two statements are true in that case this and operator will generate true result right and this is other way of saying p if and only if q so to write this if and only if phrase in short we use i double f okay now so you can observe here that this p by implication q is equivalent of writing this if p then q and if q then p that is conversely here okay so i hope this statement and the truth table of this implication and by implication is clear okay so let's head towards a example if you consider you can take a flight to be represented by the variable p and q so q is a proposition which represents you buy a ticket so how can we represent this statement that is if p if and only if q so how can we write this in english so you can take the flight so this is your statement p that is the proposition proposition p right and then we have written here if and only if that is i double f right there is your i double f in short if and only if you can buy a ticket that means if this statement has to be true in that case your p should be true and q should be true that means you can take the flight it will be true if and only if you are having the ticket with you right then the result is true otherwise 
the other thing is that the other conditions if let us say you are not you are not you are not taking the flight that means definitely you don't have the ticket as well so in that case when both are false still the statement is true so although in english language if you try to find the meaning of this statement really your mind will get messed up but in mathematical logic it says that when both the statement p and q are false the final result is true and this statement that you are seeing here will be false if your p and q have alternate values that is let us say if p is true and q is false the result is false if p is false and q is true in case of your by implication the result is false whenever you have such kind of situation right so i hope that this by conditional is clear the description the truth table and its equivalence with your single implication and this particular example so this is simple propositions are provided p and q the atomic proposition and then we are just attaching them with the help of this by conditional operator okay